Bakagi Jitsu, the seven shades. Want this like a cute underwear. Let's see this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. The black, the black one right here. This is perfect. Go for it. Epsilon! I need Epsilon in this one right now. Right, the black one right here. Looking for game day underwear. Game day? What, what is this game we're playing, Epsilon? I think we know. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Well, which one's better? How does that work? Does she have different underwear? Because you know that her titty sizes changes. Her ass sizes, everything about her changes depending on how much slime reinforcement she puts on. So does she have like base mode underwear? Does she have big titty mode underwear? How, how does that work? I feel like she has like two sets, you know? <laughs> And yes, she can use underwear over her slime, I think, because if you saw the pool episode last time, her titties were pretty big. And I think there's like, you know how Alpha and Epsilon are the only two people that can technically like manipulate magic and actually like cure people of mana possession or mana overload. So that implies that her mana like manipulation is really strong. So therefore she can enhance her titties, but then also like correct the color so it looks like skin and looks natural. I think that's the idea. <laughs> No game there? So, so this is like Epsilon like self-reporting herself that she too wants the passionate gaze and shadow wants that the game day underwear. Hmm. That's what I wanna know! Teabag tea bikini show. Are those the thongs? Wait, wait, wait what is a teabag? I, I, it's, 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 that's the shape of the underwear. Like, uh, is this thongs? Thongs. Pops bras? Bra. What kind of bra would it be though? Because she just manipulates your bust size. Say it. A new bra? New bra? What is the one bra that like pads up? Isn't there like a padded up bra? Don't don't aren't there bras that make your titties look bigger straight up? So, so, new bra. What's a new bra? New bra. I think this is her saying like, wait, does she even wear underwear? I don't know what this is trying to imply, but it's not normal bra right now. Paddings, paddings probably yeah. They're more to my taste, okay? What are you padding? You stuffing something up there? I think it's pretty much heavily implied that it's just padding or something. But technically, it already is slime padding. So, like, what is the underwear on top of that? I think the new bra, again, like, so in Slime Sleeve, like, she doesn't wear a bra, right? So it's like normal clothes. I don't know. I think it's implying something there. Maybe I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what kind of underwear Epsilon wears, though. The Kage Jitsu Episode 8, Operation 8, the Seven Shades. It wants to be, it wants to bathe in the finest hot spot. Fan service incoming. <sighs> oh. Mm -hmm. She 100% has some kind of scientific experiment to make the hot springs even hotter, right? There it is. Yep. What else can it cure? Is Ada a coup today then? I don't know what to classify her as, but she is kind of like that very like intelligent, smart, Kind of like monotone voice, right? So I guess she classifies as a coup today, huh? That facility? Mitsugoshi headquarters? <laughs> Epsilon, get in. You know why she can't get in. <laughs> she can't get in because that means she get naked. But then that means, you know, show her fucking insecure like weakness, right? <laughs> 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 
Come on, join in. Okay. She doesn't want to show you guys. Boing, boing. Would her titties just like melt off? How would that happen if she went into the hospital right now? Like, what happens to these? I don't really know. <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. New tech? What the fuck? With Ada, you can just come up with any random robot and just make up its name. This one's called a fucking what? What? What is this called? Bath enforcing machine. Yo, okay. And it's a bird. Yeah, why that name? Little Cuckoo. Is that a reference to something? Or, or, am I missing something here? I feel like this is like a hidden meaning that I'm not getting. This is an Iron Maiden. That's a fucking Iron Maiden, dude. Is she okay? When did she wear these glasses? Hold the fuck up. When when did she put those glasses on? Look at Ada for here, right? She's about to get splashed. Look at when the shades come in. Wait, wait. Uh-huh. When was that? Well, look at this. There was nothing. See? Still no glasses. Wait for it. Water splash. And look, right now, she has the glasses on. Pretty fast, Ada. What did she just do? Sure. Doesn't that mean she just drowned? Its structure lets the spa water go inside, so it should be okay. I think you're just fucking like waterboarding her. In theory. We. I really like the way that Ada talks. The whole coup de day monotone, you know, deadpan look. I really enjoy that. I hope we get more of Ada. Another Kagejitsu episode, episode 9. The Seven Shades wants to get along together. Okay. Oh. So, Molly, I, people are telling me Molly is like a derogatory term towards a cat. I don't know what it actually means, but Delta's insults to like Zeta is Molly. And we're like a mutt, right? Zeta calls her like a mutt. Fight. Oh. Makes me want to see Zeta, you know, say one one, and then Delta start like barking, like oh, sorry, meowing like a cat. Zeta <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Whose fault is this? Yes. Uh -huh. yes ma'am. She said the line. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this stupid look at her just standing there. Well, I like Delta. It's not her fault that she's a little dumb. It's okay. She's not dumb. She's just a little special. Look at her. Does she even take insult to that? Look at this. Zeta just trades up the hell's alpha that you're dumb. And she has no reaction. No reaction. She's like, yeah. Yeah, you right. You kind of right. Oh. oh. What? What did she do wrong? They'll never get along. You know what would be really cool to see, though? You know how they always bicker and fight like this? That's like, you know, it's like a running gag. That's their dynamic. It'd be really cool if there's a moment in the arc somewhere in the future where Delta and Zeta has to like team up and do they, like a collaboration cat girl dog girl combo attack and they like defeat some enemies. Some kind of arc where they actually have to, you know, do do a little uh, collaboration. That would be cool to see. Zeta wa sore o hijiranai. Uh, hai. Don't tease. Zeta. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's it? Oh. That's so cute. See, Delta just wanted to be friends with Zeta, but Zeta just, just oh, it's too affectionate, too much intimacy. I need my private space. <laughs> what? Pera pera, pera pera what? No! How could you? It was just, it was just a hug. Look at this. It was just a hug. Oh. I mean, do you think that Zeta likes it? I hope that even though she's acting like this, you know, she's just being a little bit like a tsundere cat and she actually did enjoy it. That'd be very cute.